Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 25th, 2019. Hey, I want to apologize to everyone. There was no video yesterday. As you can probably hear, I'm I'm pretty sick. <laughs> um, turns out if you have a bad case of allergies and just ignore it, that can turn into uh, kind of a nasty case of bronchitis. So let me apologize first right up front if you hear me sneeze, sniffle, or cough as uh, we go through the course of this video. I want to apologize ahead of time for that. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the markets. Yesterday, we just had a little bit of a rest here in the market. It d didn't want to really do much of anything. Kind of sideways, a little choppy price action. And there is a, a relatively high chance that could be the same today. Um, barring a few potential items on the economic calendar today that could change that just a little bit. So what's going on? Well, First off, the market has had an extraordinary run. We have to agree that this has just been an extraordinary move up in the month of June here based on an idea that the FOMC is going to cut rates. A lot of exuberance over that potential. Now there's conversation today with um, Jerome Powell going to, he's going to be speaking to the New York Times at 1 p.m. today in an interview. There's concern or speculation, I guess I should say, that Jerome Powell may be saying something today to kind of temper the exuberance of the market and this potential of a rate uh, cut. So how the market might react to that, whether he does or he doesn't. Um, obviously, when um, when Jerome Powell speaks, the world is listening. And depending on how he uh, how that discussion goes today in this interview could certainly affect the market. The market is obviously a little bit pensive about that, particularly if they get the idea that, hey, maybe the Fed isn't quite as dovish as... Um, they had originally thought. So what's going to be important is not what the Fed says, but how the market reacts to what the Fed said. So let's kind of take a look at what we have going on technically in the chart as we approach this day. There's also things in the economic calendar we will have to consider. Now you can see this line that I have up here clear at the top. If I were to roll this all the way back, that's marking out the all-time highs here in the diamonds. And you can see we haven't quite been able to breach above that just yet, that all-time high print. And just haven't quite been able to breach above that. But what we have been able to do is break above this little price resistance here in the chart. And we're holding above that. So right now, you've got to give this up to the bulls. The bulls are in control. We're well above the 50-day moving average. We're well above our downtrend. Everything here is coming up roses as far as the market goes. Uh, and, and there's really no way to interpret the price action anyway other than that. The bulls are in control. And even if we do get some kind of a pullback, a, a little bit of a negative reaction to maybe something Powell says or something in the economic calendar today, even if we do get a little bit of a negative pullback, we would have to pull back substantially to break down through the 50-day moving average. So even if we lost this level of support temporarily, pulled back into here, and still found that bullish move in the market, we're doing pretty good here overall. So this little bit of a rest, this little bit of a consolidation, certainly <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, certainly not um, um, out of out of bounds here that in fact, this little bit of rest seems very reasonable to me um, in the market, considering the the uncertainty. Now this morning we're looking at futures trying to push us down just a tiny little bit. I think um, at the moment, Dow futures are down um, less than 20 points. So just kind of a modest decline here at the open um, on the Dow. But but the NASDAQ is actually showing a bullish, uh, just a tiny, a slight bump up this morning right at the moment. Um, 
bullish on um, on the Nasdaq. So just a little bit of uncertainty going on here and a little bit of pause. Um, I think is a good way to describe it. We're just taking a rest. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also hanging in there quite well, although we did give up these all-time highs, pulling back, you know, breaking through, pulling back. I think that's okay as long as we don't just really break down, and I don't expect to see that. <clears throat> I don't expect to see that at all. So we'll have to watch this pretty closely. If the bulls were to take this right back up, this is just nothing more than a, bear, a bullish pullback. So let's watch this in here. And also, if we were to consolidate right in this range, I think that's a case for bullishness as well. As long as we hold above, once again, that 50-day moving average, I think we're doing pretty good here overall in the market. The bulls are in control. Let's take a look at the cues. QQQ hanging in there really good. Now, this has been unable to break out of those all-time highs yet. But, you know, this price pattern is exactly the kind of price pattern that we want to see in the market where we move up, pull back and rest, move up, pull back. Those are, those are perfect moves for the market. And as long as we can hold above some price support <coughs> levels in the chart, and stay above that 50-day moving average, I think we're in good shape. The trend is up. The bulls are in control. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM. Now, this is the problem, child, um, in the market. IWM pulling back and failing. As you can see below, it's downtrend line here overall. IWM is not acting bullishly here um, right at the moment, breaking this little uptrend and breaking back down <coughs> through this level of now resistance again in the chart. What's unfortunate is that we're also breaking back below that 50, 200 day moving average level. A little bit of a problem here in IWM could be that one that leads us lower or could be that problem child that creates all kinds of issues for us as we try to advance here in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. I apologize, guys. I don't know how much longer my voice is going to hold up. <clears throat> as we take a look at the VIX, the VIX bouncing around, um, dancing around this um really important level in the chart. You can see for a long, long time, this has been either held as support or resistance in the chart, and we've been dancing around that level. Let's take a look. We're rallying back up toward that level. A little tiny bit of fear coming into the market, but we also have this downtrend in play. So what, we've, what we're really doing is we're building this little wedge pattern here um, in the VIX. Right now, not an, uh, what I would consider any considerable uh, spike in fear in the market. We're not getting that move. So at this point, I don't think there's a whole lot to worry about here, but we certainly want to keep an eye, an eye on this, particularly, particularly if that fear were to spike up and break above there, then we may have some trouble in the markets. But right now, don't see that uh, coming into play, at least at the moment. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is a four-week new high, new low ratio. And unfortunately, T2122 is not giving us any directional ideas here. We're basically locked in here at around the 50% 50, 50, uh, level, which means um, all it is really telling us is we do have upside room uh, to be able to move and we have a uh, downside room to be able to move. So we're, we're considerably away from our uh, bearish reversal zone and bullish reversal zone. So all it's telling us is that we could go either direction. We're really going to have to focus on the price action today to um, get that interpretation of where the market may actually move. Let's take a look <clears throat> at our economic calendar. And our economic calendar may have a lot to say about where the market goes today. As you can see right here at, at nine o'clock in the morning, um, nine o'clock Eastern time, we have the case Schiller. It can move the market depending on how that number comes in, but it's usually not likely to move that market around. <clears throat> uh, the big number um, I think it is going to be right here, the new home sales number. If that home sales number comes in strong, 
that could be very bullish for the market, but it could also be a problem for the market because if that number comes in strong, it's going to make it harder and harder for the Fed's case to cut rates if that continues to come in strong. So, boy, kind of a double-edged sword here. We're betting against and betting for the, the, the economy all at the same time. Then we have our consumer confidence number at 10. That certainly can move the market from time to time, depending on whether or not it's a surprise. So let's keep an eye on those two items at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Then, you know, the Mac Daddy is is going to be uh, right down here when Jerome Powell is speaking to the New York Times at 1 p.m. Eastern. So kind of keep an eye on that. We could see some market reaction around um, his conversation, particularly if he walks back this idea or concerns the market a little bit that maybe that rate cut isn't so assured. Um, in the coming months. So let's watch that close. We also have a couple more Fed speakers here today to be aware of. <clears throat> so as you plan your day today, there's an awful lot going on here. And, it, and, and I got to tell you, it's a little bit difficult to know how to how to approach this day with this uncertainty. Remember, we still have the Iranian tensions. We have that G20 meeting pending where um, obviously everyone is focused on the potential of a U.S.-China trade deal maybe coming together. So much up in the air, so much uncertainty. So we could see the market be very, very light and choppy. We could also see the market get heavy reactions to these news reports. So be really careful and consider carefully how you approach the market for the day. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, I want to ask you a favor to please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook if you happen to watch the video there. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, guys, <clears throat> the growth of this channel, reaching, getting this information out to, to folks on uh, the importance of preparation, um, has been uh, a major goal of mine, but it's only successful uh, when you guys click those thumbs up buttons and leave, leave comments. That helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. And I just want to say thank you so much, you guys. The, the kind words, the things that you place on, on there, um, it means a ton to me. You'll never know how much that means to me. Thank you so much, and I truly, truly appreciate those who take the time to do that. Also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends or family. So with that, <clears throat> if you can stand to listen to my voice for just a little bit longer, let's take a look at some stocks that are still setting up and could potentially be those stocks that you want to put on a watch list. Remember, any stocks that I go over here in this video are not meant as recommendations to buy or sell anything. They're meant um, just simply as the idea to... Um, to watch, do your evaluation of the potential price patterns that are there and see if there's a trade that can be made. Take a look at AXP. Excuse me, not AXP, AVP. AVP, Avon, has been doing this nice, light, choppy sideways move over toward its trend. Avon is a little cheapy guy, only around $3.95 at the mo moment. Pop through this little resistance area, now it's continuing to consolidate over to its trend. I would keep an eye on AVP if you like these little guys. Really nice potential setup here for that upside move. Just let it move over toward its trend. It likes to move off its trend. Let's wait for it. It could be happening anytime. Take a look at UNH. UNH has been moving up these healthcare Stocks have been showing some improvement here recently, and you can see moving up in this little trend and running into some price resistance right in here. And we're dancing around that price resistance, creating this price wedge <coughs> in UNH. Now, if UNH can move on up, we do have to keep in mind that there is price resistance right here in the chart that could um, slow it down or even stop it. But let's keep in mind that we just have a really nice looking rising pattern here and one that we might want to pay attention to. Keep an eye on UNH. Take a look at waste management. Now, waste management had this beautiful move 
making it first off we're on a beautiful upside trend moving up nice and uh, and clean and you can see it looks like we've changed our trajectory to a little bit of a steeper move here in um, waste management beautiful consolidation popping through uh, moving on up waste management should definitely be on your list and something to kind of keep an eye on target is another one of those and i've been mentioning this one for a while target after breaking through some resistance right here in the chart as you can see breaking through is now just kind of dancing around that area and i think as long as we hold in this area and hold above here we may move around a little bit but then eventually see target move on higher so let's watch that close don't rush into trades like this wait for the move but right now target is continuing to set up for that potential move higher x-ray x-ray was one of those that popped out here early made a really nice move the other day and yesterday pulled back like a lot of stocks did just a little bit of a resting pullback if this continues to consolidate over toward its trend let's watch that close if it can hold in in this range right here hold that support in this area still has potential to move higher you might want to keep an eye on that stock <clears throat> take a look at mcdonald's here you can see i've got a trend line on this chart but i really don't know exactly where this trend is when this trend will resume but what i do know is that we have this really nice tight consolidation in here we have no buyers above here no sellers below here and because we're still moving up i favor the upside move so i have to watch and wait to see if we can get those buyers to pop through and begin to push this on higher watch mcd nice one for your list something to pay attention to <clears throat> ttwo made that pop out move yesterday <clears throat> as you can see here holding this trend very very nicely i think there's plenty of upside in this um, in this area and that's a beautiful beautiful breakout of that little resistance area that little pop out we popped above this uh, resistance held it as support and then we're pushing on through keep an eye on ttwo really nice uh, looking chart how about how about hershey hershey is a defensive sector stock it's one of those places where people run if they're concerned about the overall market but as you can see hershey has just moved up and up and up and up and now it's consolidating over now i can't tell you for sure if it's going to use this new trend as its launching point if that's going to hold on or if it will slide all the way over to its older trend what i will tell you is that it as long as we continue to consolidate in such a tight manner there is potential here in hershey so you might want to keep an eye on hershey um, mdt mdt i've been mentioning this one for a while mdt popped out and now consolidating right below these um, resistance highs in the chart and you can see if i back this up in fact i'll even go to a weekly these are all-time highs in the market so we're testing those all-time highs here in the stock as long as that can continue to hold up in here let's watch that close now we also know that 100 big round numbers tend to be natural resistance levels so don't be surprised if this has to consolidate for a period of time and rest all the way over to the trend just taking its time to to consolidate that move rest over toward the trend before this has that opportunity to go but keep an eye on mdt be patient let the trade come to you so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i do want to wish you great profits thank you to everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons leave a comment i truly truly appreciate it you guys are the best you mean the world to me take care of yourselves have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early wednesday morning have a good one